Okay, so I just popped in for a little pillow talk. I know if you're just joining, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I woke up like this. No makeup, none of that. I'm trying not to show my nipples or nothing. But I got to come out and say, I knew it. I knew it. I knew Wendy was in treatment. I knew it. I said it. So listen, if anybody's surprised, is anybody surprised? Can we talk about it? I knew Wendy was in treatment. I said y'all, I told y'all when they were saying Wendy is out getting herself together for a shoulder and, um, you know, her husband and all this foolishness. I knew Wendy was in treatment. I'm just saying, I'm something like a genius because I be figuring this shit out. They be trying to fool us, but not me. Mm-mm. Did anybody else know Wendy was in treatment? Because she's going to talk about it on her show today, and I can't fucking wait. But I knew she was in treatment, falling all off the stage and carrying on, honey. She had to be back on it, okay? If she was back on it, she turned into Whitney Houston right before our eyes, okay? <coughs> it's never good to talk about people, but Wendy made a living of this shit. So let's get into it, shall we? Is anybody on this feed surprised that Wendy's admission that she was in a sober house and still is? Wendy Williams, Carol. Wendy Williams. I knew she was in treatment. I said Wendy's in fucking treatment. It's going to come out. But listen, don't we love this shit? Aren't we more endeared by the fact that somebody is getting a second chance at life because that's what life is all about second chances let's talk about it can somebody i wonder can i let somebody on my feed thank you steph um i want to hear what y'all think i want to hear what what you guys think let me see can i invite people i don't know if i can uh I really want to hear what people are saying about this. Share this feed, please. Okay, share this feed. I don't know if I got to do a, a, a download or some shit, but I want people to come on here and talk with me about this. Let me see. I'm on my computer and on my phone. So I just don't know. Carol, are you in, are you in, um, are you here? Where the heck are you? I don't, it doesn't look like I can add anybody because I'm not on my phone or tablet. Oh, excuse me. I guess you can't do the split screen. Anyway, y'all, I just woke up and I was watching um, the little news feed and, and I, I don't know why I'm so tickled by this, but I, I love it when shit comes out that, that proves me right, that my genius will <laughs> shine because I said, when they said Wendy Williams is out or show, she's going on hiatus, I said, Wendy, and I went to Trigger Jail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holler back. <laughs> oh, I got some on too. I put a little lip meat on so y'all would. My road looks so goddamn rough because, you know, sometimes <laughs> that first morning, wake up. Mm -mm, ain't anyway, what it should be. I don't know what these bedroom lights is giving or none of that. And guess what? I did it. Yes, I do. We do always celebrate recovery and we celebrate being right and we celebrate second chances and all that shit. Good morning, cuz. Yes. Thank you, cousin Ronnie. So anybody got anything to say? God damn it. I wish I could bring y'all on my feet because I just want to talk about this shit because I am so excited. I don't know why that I'm right about this shit. Wendy Williams went to treatment. You, this just goes to show you, all, and I'm excited that Wendy Williams went to treatment because now she can use her platform to save lives, not to, you know, just discuss lives and other people's bullshit business that we really love to hear. <laughs> we do. I was going to say nobody gives a fuck about, but that would be a fucking lie. We love hearing that shit, Wendy. Keep this, girl. Keep taking them daggers and arrows and all that shit because everybody be wanting to know this business, but don't nobody want to jump out there and, and delve into it. So anyway, did y'all catch my girl Lunell or Wendy yesterday? I just came in for a little pillow talk. I'm just so excited. Wendy went to treatment and she's like, I can't wait to see this show. I had stopped watching because it was stupid 
and it was getting more and more stupid and it was it was it was salacious and titillating but it wasn't anything that was beneficial this is going to change lives you know i love it when people do things inadvertently because i don't think that her intent was to get fucked up turn into whitney houston and then go out and save the world no she just was living her life and being who she is like we do and and you know took a wrong turn somewhere along the way and now she's stepping into her life truly and she's living her real truth and she's going to come out and tell people what happened and share her experience hopefully her strength and the hope that any addict can stop using lose the desire and find a way a new way to live congratulations Wendy. How much clean time you got, girl? <laughs> you got a sponsor that has a sponsor that has a sponsor that has working knowledge because your ass will be drunk again if you don't pay attention. Let me tell you that. Come on. All right, Beverly. She said, come on, let's talk. You going to make me take 30 minute break. Yes, girl, take it. Take a 30 minute break instead of a 15 minute break. So Ronnie said, his wife said the same thing. Wendy, back on that shit. Yes, she was. She was back on it. Howard G, what's up? What? But I never thought she was in recovery. She wasn't. She was using. She was drunk as fuck. Now she's in recovery. Yes. What y'all doing? Somebody say something because I'm so excited about this. Good morning, sister. This is my sister. Stop playing with me, Houston. <laughs> She said, stop playing with Whitney. Listen, some of us must die so others may live. But Wendy is one of those ones that's going to live. And she can put that shit out there, man. If she can live in her truth and just own all that shit, imagine how many people will, will get clean and step in, come into recovery as a result. Kudos, Wendy. I was hoping that she would come back and say, yes, I went to treatment. I'm back, you know, and this is it. And she's doing it. And she does look amazing, by the way. She does look amazing. And my, did y'all catch my girl Lunell on Wendy yesterday? I love Lunell. And i um, so excited that she is attaining these, uh, these accolades, finally. Because she is one of the hardest working women in comedy. Female comics, you <laughs> So I don't really have much else. I'm just so excited. I came on here. I'm going to come back after the Wendy show, y'all. And we can talk some more about it. Let's get into it. Ooh, ooh, feel it, feel it, feel it. Come on, Wendy. Say it like you mean it, girl. We coming back and all that jazz. <laughs> you so ah! Oh, Candace, she looked hot yesterday. Shut up. I ain't see it yesterday. But I'm living for some chicks. Tell me, do tell. What happened? What happened? What she said? Oh, okay. Candace, what did she say? Why do you say she looked hot? Howard G. Do I think it was alcohol or coke? It was probably a combination. It was probably a combination. I think it was definitely coke because she was turning into Whitney Houston before our eyes and not the good Whitney. I'm talking about, you know almost in the grave with me you know oh she's still shaped like the letter p that's because she got the you know her tatas inflated but she gonna fill out she stay clean she gonna fill out don't worry it happens it just happens organically mm -hmm. good morning joe jack good morning clarence real talk wendy's still not getting it what She's still not getting more work to be done. Why do you say that? What do you know? Is it dirt? Candace, you said she looked high yesterday. What happened? Tell me what happened. I didn't see it. I got to go and watch Lunell's interview. Was that the Lunell interview where you saying she looked high? I haven't seen it. Who saw it? Who saw yesterday's show? Okay, so Clarence said yes, yes, yes. Okay, so um, Candace, you're saying her eyes just look bugged out? Well, her eyes always look bucked out because she does this a lot. I don't know what the fuck that is, but, you know, who knows? Anyway, y'all, I'm trying to be careful because 
we're having pillow talk and I'm still sitting in my bed and <laughs> I was just so excited I had to grab the computer and just let's get into this so we can talk about Wendy. She talks about everybody. I love this. I love that she's giving us some real dirt that we can discuss. But it's not really dirt as much as it's, you know, an, an occurrence that has taken place and a change, a shift. It's a shift in her atmospheric, whatever. I'm trying to be nice about it. Timmy said, her eyes always wide. Yes, they are. You said, I figured she was doing something. She has to humble herself first before you can get help. Oh, go ahead. This is too old theologian, Timmy Hall. <laughs> The comic cosmic cop. Timmy got some news. He got a word. I hope it ain't like Lester's word to start with a D and end in S. And it ain't. It's because he's dyslexic. Okay. Good morning, Sean. How G said her husband and his mistress might have caused her to get, get high again. Ooh, I got to watch it. I'm going to go watch it in a minute, Candace. I'm just happy she's admitting. I hope she not. I hope she ain't relapsed already. You can't admit and relapse at the same time. Like, oh, I'm in recovery. <laughs> Pass me a highball. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Fletcher. I'm going to watch it. I can't wait. <laughs> Timmy said, I look like Thundercat in training. Timmy, fuck you, Timmy Hall. Little motherfucker. Little, little Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> that cat roar <laughs> as long as I don't look like Whitney on the way out shit I'll take Thundercat in training there's <laughs> something about women's names with the W that hit what different with coke wait a minute it's something about women's name with W that hit different with coke is around. I don't know what that means, Beverly. Expound on that, will you? Anyway, good morning, Trina. Good morning, Jasmine. Hey, Jazzy. Jazzy, I wish you could be here so my pillow talk don't look like I just woke up because I just woke up. But that is the makeup artist for life, honey. So coffee, coffee said, you notice how she could talk about everybody else's business and what they doing Let's see if she discusses, yeah, what's going on in her life. Listen, I can't wait for the show because I had actually stopped watching the show because she wasn't really doing shit and she was looking crazy as hell and falling all out, falling off the stage and whatnot. But now, hey, Lilia from your math class. Listen, now Wendy is telling the truth and I cannot wait until this show comes on today. I'm going to be sitting right here glued every minute. Catch the Lord. Dish, Wendy. Dish. Clarence said, she's what? She said she went because she, she went to learn something. She did. How to live. Welcome to life. Yes. Allie. Good morning, Allie. <laughs> she replied to Timmy. to my old Lord. Thunder, 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 cats. Ho! <laughs> Wait, how would you? Forget all y'all. Girl, thank you. Thank you, Jazzy. She got me. Judge Mathis called it back in the day. What did he say, Jasmine? Did he say Wendy was um, on crack? What did he say? Hey, Daryl Brooks. Hey, Tracy. I miss you, boo. We got to eat. You know I'm hungry. I'm still a big girl. Good morning, Trina. Okay, so she said it's something. Okay, Beverly said it's something about women's names that start with a W that hit different when cocaine is around. Okay, I still don't get it, but okay, we're going with that. We're going with that. Anyway, I'm just excited she's coming out because, listen, y'all y'all going to see how many other people in Hollywood and the music industry and all kinds of places are on drugs that can get clean when somebody like a Wendy Williams will come out and say, this is my life and mine is a life worth saving and fuck all y'all. I don't care what you think. This is what's going on and this is where I am. Live your truth, girl, because you know what? Everybody in this, in this world today knows somebody or has somebody that's close to them that is affected by the ills of society. And one of those ills is 
chemical dependence and addiction to drugs or alcohol. So in 20, what is this? 2019, it ain't a goddamn thing to be ashamed about. What it is is something to rejoice about because if you can get honest and come clean about that shit, it ain't nothing you can't do. And she has one of the largest platforms in, in daytime for now, bitch. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I'm excited. I can't wait to hear this story. But I said it. I called it. When everybody was saying Wendy Williams is going to get um, whatever the fuck they said she was going to get. I don't know why they lied. But I mean, I guess I wouldn't have said she's in treatment because they probably couldn't have got no treatment while she was in there if they had said she was going to treatment. But I knew she was going to come back. I honestly expected her to make this admission on the first day back and have like this power for re, you know, engagement into uh, mainstream society and all that shit. But she did it. She got a weekend. She had my favorite human DL Hughley on and she had my favorite female uh, comic Lunell and friend on. And now she getting ready to drop the bomb. Wendy, I got questions, girl. I want to know. Do you have a sponsor? If you don't, get one. How many meetings you make? Meet and make us make it. <laughs> Wendy, welcome, welcome to life, girl. Anyway, who else talking? Let's talk about this. What y'all think? Wendy Williams went to treatment, and I knew it. I said it. I said it when she was gone. I said, Wendy is in treatment. Wendy is in treatment, and I was fucking right. I got to plug my computer up. I got to make sure my nipples don't pop out when I'm doing this. So I'm holding this up real high. Uh, hold on, y'all. Keep this thing on the wraps here. Okay. Uh, can somebody talk to me about Apple? What the fuck is with these heavy ass buds? We can put a whole galaxy in a fucking cell phone and we can't make a goddamn plug bud that, that don't weigh 40 pounds. The fall out of the goddamn wall? What the fuck is the problem here? I can't plug my computer up, so I'm going to have to stop. We'll come back and talk more about Wendy Williams going to treatment later on, y'all. But right now, I'm getting ready to get ready because I'm going to watch that shit, and then I'm going to go to the gym. But I'm going to bring somebody on so we can have a real live conversation because this is exciting. I was right. Wendy Feel it, feel it, feel it. Come on and do it. Say it like you mean it. Ooh, ooh, she got clean. <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> Timmy, and you never will. Timmy said, I never see the superhero's nipples. And you never will, little boy. Stupid ass. Anyway, bye, y'all. <laughs> Show them nipples. I probably get a lot of views there, wouldn't I, Roshan? My nipple fell out while I was talking about Wendy going to treatment. That shit would go viral. Anyway, y'all get your, get your Wendy facts up. Let's talk. We're gonna come back and chat about it after the show. Bye.